people Te can watch them. Okay, testing one, two. Mine is live now. Uh, so hopefully we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to go over a few things. But anyways, I'm going to drop down to the other channel for this series just because give us some kind of different thought process uh, or however we want to do this. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, okay, bye. I'll see y'all at the end of this. Uh, give me like five minutes to go over team real fast, and then I'll start putting in code. Okay. Uh, or, or I'll come back up here, and we'll do it that way. So, but, all right, I am now in the West Texas Wingles uh, draft server. Hopefully audio is not too loud with everything going on. We adjusted a few things for this game. Uh, hopefully we got this figured out. But uh, real fast, because game is here in like a minute ago, but we'll go over the team real fast like we usually do. Uh, real simple, we are going to get a few usage stats in. Hopefully we win this game, because if we win this game, we do take our division and we lock it up. We win first again. Uh, if not, then we got to see how that plays out. But hey, we're going to use Garchomp from Tier 1 this week. We're going to have Assault Vest help us live the uh, Zapdos 1v1 if that shows up. Uh, going real standard stuff, max speed, max attack. Uh, with the Rock Slide, Iron Head, Stomping Tantrum, Dragon Claw, I think this will help us deal with the Grim Snarl. With Iron Head, uh, Stomping Tantrum gives us max quakes, Dragon Claws drops attack, Rock Slide gets our uh, sand availability up and going, which is the main thing that I want here um, for this series. Uh, maybe we can get get a few misses, it's kind of our hope there. Uh, next up, we're going to be using Charizard again. Uh, feels weird using a Charizard when he has a Primarina and a Zapdos, but I think I, it's a good uh, thing here. Just because, excuse me, he has Metagross. Uh, max Special Attack, Max Speed. We're going Modest this game, just because the idea here is we don't want to worry about any speed ties, so we're going to know it'll be slower than a Zapdos uh, if he goes Timid. Uh, but the idea here is we have Heat Wave, Ancient Power, Solar Beam. We're not even worried about Max Airstream here. Uh... It would be nice, but I think the idea here is Solar Beam deals with the Primarina if we get the opportunity to, uh, especially if we get Sun some other way this series. Ancient Power will win the Zapdos 1v1 if we do a uh, Heat Wave or a um, our G-Max move and Ancient Power to get this thing locked up. That's kind of what we got there. Uh, then we got our Incineroar. This is a really complicated set. Um, we're going to use this for ranked, actually. Uh... We'll, get, we'll dive into that one later. A lot of different spreads. Should live a lot of things. Thanks to Chris on helping me figure out how to get this thing good for rank, but we're going to use it here as well. Uh, but, you know, Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Drain Punch, Parting Shot. Uh, Umbreon is a nightmare for this team, so hopefully we're going to have a few fighting moves to deal with things uh, like that Drain Punch, keep us topped off, and go go to town there. Uh, Citrus Spray, I just like it in general. Uh, that's usually my general Incineroar stuff I like to use. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to use it and have a lot of success. Uh, Serena's here. This is one I've not very well practiced on how to use very well, but I think this will work. We're going to just chunk the crap out of somebody. Uh, Choice Scarf, we outspeed the entire field here with uh, 188 speed, uh, max attack, 68 HP, something like that, uh, to get us up, up ahead of everybody right now. And then uh, Trap Kick, Triple Axle, does KO a uh, Zapdos if it's not maxed. That takes it to half if it is. Drop kick will deal with any kind of uh, water types we'll see here. U-turn, kind of get us in and out. Um, play rough if we uh, need it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can get just something chunked. We're not going to live any hits. Uh, just get in, get out kind of thing. Um, Tox Croak, this is going to be my favorite one to use this series. Uh, we got to have Focus Sash. We're going to have Poison Touch, so maybe we can get a Poison off a of Fake Out or something like that. Uh, max Attack, Max Speed, a uh, little bit of HP investment. Uh, not much, though. Um... Fake out, Sucker Punch, Poison Jab, Brick Break. That reminds me, I need to uh, PP Max the Sucker Punch for this series. Uh, so hopefully we can break screens with Brick Break. Poison Jab will help get rid of that Grim Snarl. Sucker Punch, good chip damage. Fake out just to keep stuff from happening. Uh, and then finally, we're going to use Scald, uh, Seeking, Ocarina, Haze to get rid of any weakness policy. Uh, Metagross stuff and Protect as always. Um, this is a Seeking set we've liked a lot. Max HP, 196 defense. Uh, 60 special defense works really well. We've had a lot of success with it. And leftover just to keep, to keep us topped off. So that's kind of the team. This is uh, going really fast over it. Uh, but hey, we're going to hopefully get a win here, take, take the series, and you know win our division. But let's get Sucker Punch maxed out, and 
be good to go. I'll actually be able to walk through my moves here and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, the main thing here is going to figure out, does Zapdos carry Ancient Power for this series? And does Metagross carry Rock Slide over Thunder Punch? But uh, I'm going to just shoot a message to the guys up there that I'm good to, good to go for the code. Um, or if they are watching, I am setting... Oh, that's the trade. Uh, but we are going to get ready to set the Link Battle Code um, and go from there. And you can catch this game from the other perspective of Ali. Uh, I think he's up there with everybody else in the general chat. Uh, but, oh yeah, appreciate it, Chris. Uh, wasn't sure if he had gone live yet or not. Uh, but I think audio sounds better. I literally cut all the sound in half for the on cartridge stuff. Um, hoping that that will be helpful there. Uh, and we'll just kind of see what happens. But... Let's see. I do have a notepad we're actually going to use for this series. Uh, we haven't done that in a while, but it is, I think, going to be kind of necessary to use just to pick this one up. Um, uh, just because the games are about to get a lot tougher, um, and it's going to be helpful to have. Uh, so we know our team, and I got the notification that Ali just went live, so that's good. All right. Hopefully this is all right. TV is over there, so that's what we'll be looking at this time. So I don't have my face covering up moves. But are we good to search? I think we are. Not entirely sure. Okay. <sighs> all right. Man, I'm a little nervous on this one. Uh, usually it's not... I have everybody else talking, but it's just me. Uh, I guess I'll decide our rules, and we'll go from there. I haven't actually been able to play one of the Draft League games without actually verbally going through what I want to do. And so that's going to be kind of nice uh, to get to just walk through the thought process, um, which will be nice uh, just in general. Uh... I know my team, but I'm going to just write it down real fast just to s so I can write down damage uh, totals and stuff like that. See if, like, that we live something or don't live something that we were expecting to. I always recommend doing that just because it does help. Um, just if you have something you weren't expecting or if there's something new uh maybe you can see hey that does ko that's that's a big that's a big ko that we have or something like that um and go from there all right what will ali have for this one i'm gonna write these down as we see them gee whiz that's really similar to what practice was <laughs> Zapdos, Metagross, no Grimmsnarl, so that's kind of nice, but the Umbreon is here. Uh, so we got Zapdos, Metagross, which both those are nasty, Umbreon, uh, Doug Trio, which is a pain, uh, Galvantula, And charge a bug to boost everybody's special attack. Okay, this is looking more and more like we're going to be playing Garchomp here. Uh, I think actually that's what we're going to do, we're just open up Toxic Garchomp and see what he does. And we'll keep Charizard in the back, although Rock Slide Doug Trio is something that we're going to have to worry about. Metagross is a little problematic, but if he has Ice Punch, that's going to be a thing we're going to be scouting for this game. Uh... Because if he doesn't have Ice Punch, I think, it, honestly, honestly, though, I think Incineroar might be better if we can get Parting Shots off something. If we, like, do Incineroar, Garchomp here. Actually, no, Incineroar is Serena, so we can maybe chunk something off the bat. Yeah, because I think, I think that's pretty solid. Because then we can, 
You turn out if we don't like it. Oh, shit. Well, I didn't take, pay attention to the timer. We'll take top four. Let's go. <laughs> that works, too. We've practiced with our other lead. I took too much time right nose down. Oh, well. I'm used to having the team read off. That was my fault. But, oh, well. Let's see, but we do like Garchomp Charizard lead, and then this means that we're going to have Incineroar in the back, as well as Serena. So it's like we're a little bit backwards here, but I think this is okay in the end, because I think we can just max Garchomp and go for a max Rockfall into Zapdos. And if he does make a switch here, we do get our ability activated, which I kind of like, and then... Uh, we just get Incineroar in so we can fake out something else next turn uh, and save the Charizard for later. And this will let us know if he has a rock move because Incineroar can take this hit. I think that's actually what we like the best. Let's see what he does. So hey, maybe Timer, maybe Timer failing on us may not have been the worst thing in the world. Uh, but Galvantula's gone. Charger Bug's here, so he's going to boost his special special defense. Or special attack. Uh, Charizard's out, so we're going to need that later in the game to deal with this charge bug if it gets off the ground. Um, yeah. I would be surprised if he doesn't max Zapdos here. That's what it's looking like he's going to do. But we do, with Assault Vest here and Charger Bug, this goes back to our original Calx where it's a two hit KO uh, on us. But we can pick up Charge Bug here with, I think, a Flare Blitz, most likely. Or we can just Parting Shot the Zapdos next turn. But let's let's just kind of see what happens here. Yeah, he is going to max that. And we were going to be faster anyway if, if he was max speed or not. The trick is, though, what kind of damage we're going to do here. If It should take him to half. It should take him to half. Um... So here's our rock fall, which I like. Yeah, all right. So we are ahead there. So the trick is, is he target? I believe he's going to target the Incineroar, but he may not. Oh yeah, there is his rock fall. Sweet. So we know how to play this. So seeking is not going to be. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, but we do live. We do live. That's big, actually. And now. He has to protect the Zapdos before it can do anything. Or it goes down here. So I think our best play, weirdly enough. Yeah, Charger Bug's there. So if we Rockfall Zapdos, we pick it up. And now Incineroar can do whatever it wants in the Charger Bug. Which I do think that could be helpful. So I think our best play here is take out Zapdos with the Garchomp. And then... We can fake out Charge Bug, but it's probably going to protect. Um, yeah. I think if we just double up here, this is going to be helpful. Yeah, we'll just go into Charge Bug with Flare Blitz, uh, pick up Zapdos with Rockfall. He may protect Zapdos. No, he doesn't. Okay. So that's even better for us. So we might be able to go pick up two right here. So he didn't even protect. So let's see what we'll see what our flare blitz damage into this uh, EV light charge bug is gonna be. So that's gonna be the main thing here. We could have gone fake out, but I think this is just better. Yeah, it's good damage. We're gonna lose Incineroar to himself, but we do get the burn. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, no, we st we get Incineroar still. Mud slap. So we're gonna drop attack. Yeah, we'll just we'll just swap Incineroar out here. So we lose our accuracy. But we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Charge Bug's going to take a lot of chips, so we can actually probably ignore it this turn. Uh, yeah, here's the Galvantula. So, unnerved, so no berries. That's going to be good to keep track of this series, weirdly enough. Um, 
we can Rockfall Galvantula. That'll do a decent amount of damage here. I'm expecting Metagross to be in the back. Charge Bug is going to go down to Burn and Sand. If it protects Galvantula, that's something. And then I think we just move the Incineroar out. We get Serena in. And that'll give us good chip damage on the something. And then we just save Charizard for the end game when it will be the uh, Metagross, most likely. Okay, this is... That's solid. Yeah, we'll, we'll just... Yeah, eventually, even if it's sashed, and it's it's not. Not sashed, so we don't know where the focus sash is. So that's three KOs for... Or two KOs for Rain Dance. Okay. Okay. So he doesn't go down here, but we can just pick it up with Serena with a U-turn on the next turn. Or if it just goes down to burn next turn, we can just kind of forget about Charge Bug, I think. Yeah, here's the Metagross. This is this is the tricky spot. I think we just... Do we just chunk the Metagross here? Because we have Incineroar in the back, so we got Fake Out later on. He can get plus two. Yeah, I think that's what I like here. Because Charge Bug goes down to burn. And the thing is, which is the right button here? Is it going to be... Trop Kick's not very effective. Triple Axle's not... Hmm. I think the... You know what? Yeah, let's go... Let's go Triple Axle here. We get one. That's not going to do a lot. It's not going to do a lot. But that's good ship. That's good ship. And this will set off policy, but we'll pick it up in the end. Yeah. Okay. So there's policy. We'll make a note of that. And there is Ice Punch. So we don't live that ever. And Electro Rub to slow us down, but we'll still be ahead. Um, and then we can kind of stall out Rain too, which is kind of nice. We'll just get Incineroar in. Force of Protect. Um, yeah. Because then we can just go for the fake out here and chip it down some more I think it might be better actually we'll just fake out if he protects we'll reset Serena here so we can go for like a u-turn or something later on so we'll just go ahead and fake out Metagross if he protects great if not this is just a freeze charge I'd switch and then we can just like u-turn to end it that's gonna do a lot more damage Yeah, he just protects. That's that's what we thought he would do. Okay, so now... Okay, how many turns of rain we got left? Let's figure that out. Two turns of rain. Metagross is really low. We're gonna lose one here. Um, but we do have speed investment Metagross, so if he's not max speed Metagross, we actually might be able to get ahead here. Oh, we got 92 speed, so that's something. And just Serena picks us up in the end. Charizard, as long as we don't whiff Heat Wave, we're going to get good damage here no matter what. Like Charizard, Heat Wave, in the, in the rain is just going to be enough anyway. Okay, that works. That works. Charge bug, mud slap, electro web. And Galvantula, we didn't see anything, but it is unnerved, so citrus berry won't work there if we're in front of that. We don't know what Doug Trio Umbreon's gonna do. Okay, so I like that. That was a good game. That was a good game. 3-0 differential. We like it.
Metagross, Policy, Ice Punch, Zapdos didn't do what he wanted it to do. So I think, honestly, next game, well, we'll have to look at it. We'll have to think about this for a second. Because um, I'm thinking he's probably going to go for the Metagross next. He may stick Zapdos, and if that's what he does, that's that's okay too. I mean, Garchomp in front, even though he didn't even get our team select right, we still pulled that off. I think Incineroar, and Incineroar is going to be important here, but I think Toxicroak. Uh, Toxicroak is not needed for screens, so I don't know if we're going to even need to use it for this one. Because um, if he goes to Trio Zapdos, that would be problematic, because he can just Rock Slide and go for the Charizard. Um... Yeah, see, we could do Garchomp Charizard again and just let that be the thing. But honestly, if we just do Serena... Serena Toxicroak might be something. Uh, or Serena Incineroar, maybe. I don't know, we got a minute to decide. So if we lead off Charizard... We're not horribly threatened... And there is the rock fall. We don't know if he has we don't know what kind of moves Metagross has. We know it has Ice Punch Protect. So I really did like that flexibility, even though it was screwed up. I think we'll just do Charizard here. Hmm. I think we'll keep Garchomp in the back. So we'll do like Charizard Serena. So we can chunk something up front. We'll keep Incineroar in the back, and then we'll have Garchomp in the back, and I think that mixes it up some, but it allows us to go get Wildfire Chip damage right off the bat. And if he does Doug Trio, we can pick up Doug Trio right off the bat too. Yeah, I think that works. But if he goes Met Metagross, he could do Metagross Bulldoze here, which honestly that might be what he does. Uh, it is policy though, so we can do a lot of damage to it if we actually get our Wildfire off. Does he go Zapdos, though, is the main question. Yep, that Doug Trio, Metagross. So we can just bop Doug Trio here, and then Charizard. I think we'll just max him go, and if he has... Yeah, I think I think I like that. Because uh, we Heat Wave, not amazing. I think we just G-Max Wildfire into Metagross. Serena will just go Trop Kick into Doug Trio, that should pick up the Doug Trio. Um, yeah, unless it's Choice Scarf, I guess it could be Choice Scarf, but in that event, he's gonna get his policy no matter what this turn. Unless, I don't think we one-shot him. But we'll take it, we'll do a lot of damage here. Enough that we can clean it up with Garchomp in the back, I think. That's kinda where I'm at. Cause even if he puts Zapdos in for either one of these, I think I like it. And then that's just one six eight HP bar chipped. Uh, and then with Incineroar in the back, we can deal with Umbreon if it shows up later on. Yeah, I think I think I like this. And plus, we have the extra boost from Modest. And if he doesn't max, that's that's even good for us too. Oh no, he is okay. So I'm expecting we'll probably do two thirds HP. I think that's where we're gonna be. Two thirds HP on this thing. So what does Duck Trio do? Duck Trio could be Sash. That actually might be where Sash is. That would actually make the most sense, weirdly enough. Oh, just Ally Switch. Forget it gets. I forgot it gets. Forgot it gets that. Hey, right, we'll take the two HP there. Uh, we're gonna lose Charizard for free, unfortunately. But we do get Duck Trio. I forget he gets Alice Switch, but there is the Focus Sash. So, now we gotta play that game next for game three. Oh, Hellstorm, actually. It's really good. So, we lose Serena, but Serena did its job, I guess. So, now. Yeah, Dutcher, Alice Switch, Focus Sash. And now it's like really good chip damage on Metagross though from G-Max Wildfire. 
Yeah, that's going to be really good, actually. Okay, so here's the thing. What do we make him do? We have incinerator, we have fake out. Which, if he does Zapdos here, that lets us get Charizard one more turn. Which is big. And we just hold Garchomp for the end game. And maybe we can get a parting shot off or something like that. Oh, it's just going to be charge about Weird, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to go Electro Web. That's 100% what he's going to do. Do we even care if he does? That's the other thing. And does he max guard? But if he max guard, that's just more chip damage for us. So I think go for Metagross again. This time we'll fake out Charge Bug. Get some chip there. And then that'll set us up for the next turn. But he didn't protect, so. We'll give him policy. We'll probably lose one of these two this turn. Or we just KO Metagross. That works too. Alright. Oh, it's a crit. That's why. Hey, we'll take him. We'll take him. Unlucky on his part, though. But that's going to do most of the HP bar anyway. Okay, so now it's going to be Zapdos, I think, coming out. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. And we still got this going on. Alright, now we just try to finish this one off. Yeah, there's the Zapdos. Zapdos outspeeds our Charizard. It's pressure, so we don't have to worry about static. Let's just make the super evasive uh, Garchomp in the endgame here. And I really don't want to give Zapdos any kind of boost, so we'll parting shot it. Or I guess we'll just parting shot charge bug. That's a really bulky Zapdos. Maybe it was a salt vest. Could have been. We will live that, but we'll go down to sand. And parting shot here gets us reset. And we'll just get incinerated in the next turn. So that works. And if he does a Letcher Web, I guess Charge Bug gets a KO. So. Yeah, that's going to actually pick up. <laughs> Charizard goes down the Charger Bug. How about that? Oh my. <laughs> but we do get the, we do get the set fake out again. And so we can just literally... Yeah... Does it just go down to that? Nope. So much damage. Okay, Incineroar is back. Incineroar Garchomp. We like that. Let's get Incineroar a KO with Fake Out into the Zapdos. And then we'll just Rock Slide, I think, would just be enough to pick up Charge Bug. Yeah, we'll just do that. Zapdos there. And then Rock Slide and the Charge Bug. And if this misses, we'll just get uh, double power for stopping Tantrum for the next one. And if that, that should finish this game. Yeah, Fake Out KO. We'll take it. Rock Slide will connect. And the Charge Bug, it won't be enough. So maybe this goes to. Oh, we get the flinch. We just got lucky this game. Holy smokes. It's not even right. Charizard picks it up. Okay. Good game. That's a sweep. We'll take it. Three points. Eight points on the table. Heck yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that. 2-0 win. All right. Heck yeah, we needed that one. I was I was really stressful because Umbreon kicked our ass in practice uh, multiple times. So didn't get to use Toxicroak or Seeking, but top four top four felt pretty good in general. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll jump up with everybody else uh, here in a minute. But 
anyways, I'm going to end the stream there. That was a quick one, but hey, never, 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 never a bad thing to pick up a win like that. So appreciate y'all watching and I will see most of y'all in the uh, draft league comps. So see y'all in a sec.